In this video, we will see how to use Mona to get instant and free monitoring for GPT usage by adding two lines of code. If you are building a production grade GPT based application and you are concerned about things such as token usage, profanity and privacy issues or drifts and hallucinations, then this is the tool for you. For this demo, I will be using an example use case of a GPT based application for summarizing articles. And you can see here that I'm using OpenAI's completion endpoint, but Mono will work on chat completion as well. The first thing I need to do is to sign up for Mona. And this is completely free and can be done very quickly on the Mona website. After activating my account, I can go to the admin page on Mona's dashboard and create a new API key and secret, which I will need in the code in a second. Now, all that's left to do is pip install Mona OpenAI, import the monitor function to my Python code, um, wrap OpenAI's completion endpoint with the monitor function. Now notice here that I'm using the Mona credentials that I created a minute ago. And also notice that I'm adding a name for a monitoring context for Mona. We call this, uh, I'm calling it article summary, but it's just a name you can come up with whatever name you want. And that's pretty much it. The wrapped monitored completion class behaves exactly like the original class, but behind the scenes, Mona's client calculates relevant metrics for every call and logs them out to Mona's server. And the client also allows you to add additional data for monitoring purposes during the actual call. In this use case, I care about the template ID and the publication name for each call I'm making, so I'm adding those. And note here that this data will not be sent to OpenAI, but only for Mona for monitoring. Now, when I'm logging back into Mona's dashboard, I can start seeing my data flowing in. And actually, I've been using Mona to track my GPT usage for about a month now. So we can already see here some interesting data. On the homepage, um, Mona shows me some of the more relevant metrics, um, such as token usage, latency, exception rate, etc. And you can easily add or remove metrics from here um, using a simple wizard. There's also a way to explore the data more freely and create reports. You can compare the behavior of different metrics within time periods and according to different segmentations. But really the coolest thing about Mona is that it automatically generates insights for you and alerts you about them um, via email or Slack or however you want to get alerted. Uh, so for example, it shows me here that a specific publication has a higher profanity probability than the other publications. In another example, we also see here that the latency grew significantly for all of my calls on average. And this could be explained by the fact that the token usage seems to be growing as well. And Mona finds that possible explanation automatically for me. And there are many other cool capabilities over here. You can set up more alerts, you can track issues over time and much more, but those are a bit out of scope for this demo, which I hope you enjoyed. We've seen here how to really quickly with two lines of code, get monitoring for your GPT application using Mona. And if you have any questions, please feel free to approach us at openai at monolabs.io. Thank you.